You're watching Monty TV. I'm Jackie Karsh, joined now by Nicole Egan. She is the CEO of Darktrace, a cybersecurity startup. Nicole, thank you so much for sitting down with us. Thanks for having me. The cybersecurity market is going to increase to more than $200 billion by 2021. How are you trying to capitalize on that number? Because you are in the market. Well, I think the biggest thing is how do we help the customers start to get ahead of this? You know, the, the threats keep evolving and um, there's new areas, IoT is a great example of that. You know, in every enterprise, 20, 30% of the devices that we see are IoT devices. So that's an important part of the market to capitalize on. Another area is industrial control systems. So those are the SCADA type environments that we find in things like nuclear power plants, you know, protecting the grid, protecting the water supplies. Um, so I think those are some of the markets that we're just starting to see come online now. Who is your ideal client? Our customers, range from a two-person hedge fund all the way to the world's largest international bank. Um, and outside of financial services, it's a bit of everything. As you'd expect, retail, e-commerce, law firms, accounting firms, um, it's really across the board. So I think that because we're all connected, everyone's businesses are all connected to each other through the internet, it's relevant to really every size company in every industry. Is it true that everyone's a target in the sense that you're either currently being hacked and you just don't know, or you're being hacked and you're aware and you're trying to figure out how to fix it. When we drop in a network of uh, a Fortune 500 company, we find something in about 80% of the cases. When we go into small and mid-sized businesses, we find something in 95% of the cases. Wow. So really everyone is a target. And it, it gets back to, again, the fact that um, the supply chain you know, reaches out to every business. The average Fortune 500 company is connected to 20,000 customers or trading partners who have access in some way, shape, or form to their network. So what we've done is created an immune system for every size enterprise. And so in less than an hour, whether it's a small company, mid-size, or large company, Darktrace can go in, analyze their network traffic, and start protecting them right away. Nothing is an impenetrable force though. Hackers undoubtedly get in some way or another. So what happens when you have a client and they've been hacked, even though they have your software, what's, what's your recourse mode? Most people were trying to protect the bad guys from getting in the network in the first place. So a lot of you know next gen firewall or catch it on the way in or catch it on the way out. In our case, we said, what if you change the assumption? What if you, you assume they're either inside already or they're going to get in one way or the other? Then it becomes about early threat detection. So the whole premise behind Darktrace is trying to find the threat early so that it never becomes this bad breach that we hear about in the news. There's been a lot of Russia-China accusations when it comes to cybersecurity. Is that where you're primarily finding those hacks coming from, or, or is it all over? You know, the, the, the threat actors really range. It's everything from your run-of-the-mill cyber criminal uh, to nation-state activity, uh, to insider threat, privileged users like system administrators that have the keys to the kingdom. So it's really a full range. And when it comes to insider threat, it's a delicate topic. People a lot of times want to assume all their employees are good. But sometimes they can start kind of non-malicious and turn malicious um, over time. So it's really the full range of threat actors. All right, so you need to build those fortresses up from inside out. Thank you so much, Nicole. Thank you.